Party going till the honeymoon. Don't be afraid to flaunt that new drip. Don't lose your rings and have a fun trip. Ooh, their love we can't refuse. Now they said I do. We, we will always root for you. You left the Wurzburger bus, but we'll stick by ya. Can't get rid of us, Alec and Brenna. We're your little sisters, forever and ever. Much love to both of ya, Alec and Brenna. Thank you, thank you. If we haven't gotten to say hi yet, I'm Brooke. And I'm Bailey. And we're Brenna's little sisters. Tormentors. Biggest fans and co-maids of honor. honor. <laughs> While we were thinking of the many memories we could share about Brenna, it became clear that all of them ended us with tears of laughter for us. Brenna is always the funniest and loudest person in the room. When us three are together, some might consider us obnoxious, and by some I mean our parents. <laughs> she can turn any boring situation into fits of laughter. Whether it's us squished in the back of the car on a road trip, standing in line in Disney World, or during a summer day at home during a global pandemic. <laughs> we even remember back to when we were little and we were sitting in church with those little Jesus crossword puzzles, and we still somehow got in trouble for giggling too much. I don't know what at. <laughs> That's why she chose not to have those crossword puzzles at the wedding ceremony. <laughs> of course, we have many goofy times but Brenna does really know how to make a person feel special. One of my favorite memories with Brenna was when she had gone away to college and I was a sophomore year, it, at my sophomore year in high school. I was up on my confirmation retreat up in the mountains in California, completely remote, no phones or anything. The first night there, everyone was gathered in the retreat center and our youth minister, Louie. Hi, Louie, he's back there somewhere. <laughs> Louis, stand up. Woo, Louis. stand up. He's a really big part of our lives and how we all got here today. But anyways, Louis came on stage and announced that there were some late arrivals coming to the retreat. Next thing I know, Brenna came running on stage, looking into the audience, and I just stood up and screamed, Brenna, and went running and gave her a hug. And those are my first tears of joy I've ever shed. So I guess I missed Brenna when she went away to college. <laughs> When it came time for me to go to college, Brenna has been with me every step of the way. My senior year of high school, we got to quarantine together. <laughs> uh, and we spent time floating in the pool, kayaking in Lake Tahoe, and she even helped me edit my essays for college applications. And true, <laughs> Alec did too. True. Alec did too. <laughs> <laughs> and when I got into my dream school, thank you guys, by the way, uh, she surprised me with a personalized congratulations bunt cake, which was very sweet of her. But with, the colors, awesome. with the colors of the school. <laughs> now that I'm at LMU, she braves the LA traffic just to visit me and see my performances. And most recently, she and Alec even drove all the way to help me pick out my dress for the wedding. And I think we did a good job. <laughs> Brenna has been an awesome big sister, but Alec, we just wanted to let you know how amazing of a wife she will be. She always keeps things interesting. You never know which alter ego you'll get. Olia Pavlotsky. Kristen Wiig from the Californians. Kristen Wiig with the baby hands. Kristen Wiig from Bridesmaids. Kristen Wiig as Gilly. Sorry. Really though, Brenna has been the most amazing role model and she has set the standards high. 
Thanks, Brenna. Thanks, Brenna. <laughs> She auditioned and got into the most prestigious fine arts high school and the highest level class of dancers, so I guess she's talented. And she graduated high school as valedictorian, casual. <laughs> she did service trips in Haiti, Tijuana, St. Louis, so she's a good person too. <laughs> she was chosen to be Prio retreat coordinator, but I heard she was just flirting with someone on the inside, so. <laughs> <laughs> and then she killed it at USD and then had to go on and get a full ride to Boston College to get her master's at the number one theology school in the nation. So I guess God was really trying to get her with Alec. <laughs> all in all, she has set the bar pretty high for her little sisters, but we lowered it back down. <laughs> Obviously, Brenna has accomplished incredible things, but she makes a lasting impact on everyone she meets along the way. No matter what part of the country we are all in, we are blessed to have the most supportive, loving, and inspiring big sister. We're so proud to be here today to see her marry the most amazing man we could imagine for her. Alec, I remember the very first time I met you, I was meeting up with Brenna at a conference in LA, and she came skipping up holding hands with some boy. Maybe it was the fact that I'd never seen her hold a boy's hand before, but I teased her that you guys were gonna get married, so I called it first. Mm -hmm. Alec admits it. And I met Alec when he and Brenna were finally dating up in Boston. It was about time. And I've loved getting to know him, but Alec officially won me over the first time he stayed with us in Vegas, and he generously gifted to me his very fashionable Star Wars R2-D2 socks. <laughs> so, he's basically my sock broker. <laughs> We're so excited to have you as our new big brother. We can't wait to see the amazing life you guys will make. Congrats, Congrats Brian and Alec. We, we love you. One big round of applause for Brooke and Bailey.